Okay, my poor shooting range is complete disarray here. So I'm gonna try to get it cleaned up real quick. But before I do that, we're gonna make a bigger mess because the other day I got some 50 BMG ammo. This is not it, but these are pretty cool. These are eight millimeter miles rounds. This is old FN ammo from the 1938 uh, armor piercing. They really pierce a lot of stuff. These are, I think these ones are actually from the 50s, stamped on the back. They're incendiary rounds. They really explode when I hit. So we're gonna line up some water jugs with these, see what they do. I need I need to split some wood today. So we're gonna see what the AP round does. And then we're gonna put an incendiary round in there because the one time I shoot an incendiary round, it got stuck right in there. It didn't explode. I was shooting my 22 and hit it and explode. I was like, what the fuck was that? And then we got some steel up here. We got old corn pop, he's a bad dude. And then we got this from John at LA211. Uh, is three quarter inch AR 400 steel. That is one inch thick. It's pretty hard steel, but not quite as hard. That's a 50 BMG AP round there. And but before we do that, everybody wants to see what an old Japanese tractor will do to a Chinese TV. Okay, Japanese tractor versus Chinese TV. Come on, Japan. Fuck China. Oh, yeah. American wood, motherfucker. Chinese goddamn fucking shit. Okay, first up, we're gonna shoot. <laughs> I put a little food dye in there and it just got out of control, man. I can't have anything clean. Focus. I'm gonna be shooting this uh, eight millimeter Mauser incendiary round into the jugs down there. Uh, there's a good bit down there. Maybe I'll put the camera down there because I only have my phone today. I can really see my breath now. <clears throat> Hopefully that did a good job of demonstrating how powerful them rounds actually are. I'm seeing some jacket here and there. It's funny, the, <laughs> the first one I went to shoot had one hell of a primer strike. It did not go off. I'm like, oh, crap. Yeah, they're only $8 a shot, too. Mostly just a bolt that's really expensive. So it annihilated the ones that were there. The one, two three so you freaking annihilated it so let's set up uh the wood and we'll see what happens maybe i'll try that one that didn't go off i don't know man that primer is really dented check this out i set this bitch to the side i was like i do knew i mean uh, this camera won't focus but i mean it like really dented that primer i might try one more with it okay placing sketchy ass bolt inside gun it's good practice for not to flinch. Let's see if I can do it without flinching. Yeah, there, she went off. I didn't flinch either, so. That's good practice, man. Cause it's kind of scary when a gun don't go off. It's like, oof. Okay, I was able to find, the, dude, my finger, dude. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, blue, blue. Uh, I was able to find a tip of it. So, paint's still on there. Same with my finger. Uh, these are, there we go, they're hollow, incendiary rounds. 
they don't penetrate because they're designed to explode. I don't know what kind of charge they actually use. These are actually pretty much full of whatever it is. Same with like, I think they're the M1 50 BMG ones I have, the military grade. They have more incendiary in than your normal bullet does. So they're designed just to kind of hit hard, but that's pretty neat, man. Uh, let's try something else. So I found uh, other tip from the first one there. It does have some lead in it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. So you see it does have some lead, and I also found this from a previous video. It's a 10 millimeter extreme penetrator. I think this is the one when I shot the turkey and it bounced, because, oh shit, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Sorry, it's hard to hold. There we go. That's an extreme penetrator, solid copper. That's pretty cool. Do my hands. That's not my phone number. That's just mileage. <laughs> I mean, you can call that number. I don't know. Let's see, eight, six. There's enough there. Let's see. I think it'd work. He'd try it. <laughs> He's got an answer. Okay, next up, we're going to, actually, I'm going to shoot another incendiary into the wood, and then we're going to shoot uh, an armor piercing into the wood. So, maybe I'll try to put you guys up there, just in case something happens, I guess. Okay, I put, actually, two AP rounds, because I wasn't, I thought I hit here, I wasn't sure, so I put another one, went right in there. Incendiary went in there. I don't think. Nope, so they're definitely in there. This is a cherry log. So... We'll split her open and see what, see what we can find. Okay, for the last shot, I got about two rounds of these left in my pocket anyway. I'm going to aim for the 400, AR 400 plate. I'm going to be back there, hiding behind a very skinny tree. It's kind of hard to tell them apart, so I'll try my best. That yeah, Either way, we'll hit one of them. So yeah, ain't that some shit, dude. Like the first one I hit, I aimed dead center. Hit high and to the right. I was like, alright, I'll aim a little bit lower and to the left. Still hit fucking high, just to the left. <laughs> Number the AP rounds. Sorry, John, I I cannot hit your plate. <laughs> it's just, but uh, it dug in pretty deep, man. And then, you seen that was the incendiary round? Hit exactly right where I was aiming, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was gonna put this like, like a I'd slide like right here to shoot the damn thing, but there you go. Some more 8mm ammo. Here we're starting to snow. Firewood season. So the incendiary one made it, I just lost it. It was like right in here. It just fell down. I was trying to save it. The AP round, where'd she go? Right here. It's facing that way. Someone threw yeah, much wood. And another one, third one I couldn't find. I'm sure I'll find it in the furnace.